Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will show you how you can model these concrete folded plate structures like this model I have over here. This is just a roof structure that's made out of basically folded concrete plates and maybe you can see some renderings. It looks kind of like that. And this is the inside. So let's create something like this. So I'm just going to go here into new project. I'm just going to choose the architectural template. OK. And first, let's just set up the units. UN is the shortcut. I'm going to be using meters for this. OK. OK. Uh, we can't really get this shape out of classical Revit architecture tab, so we need to be using a mass. So I'm just going to go to massing and site, in place mass, just cancel out of this. Let's just call it a fold. OK. And now first we need to set up our reference planes. So just go to plane and create one basically in the middle. I'm just going to place it here, maybe extend it a bit. And let's just name this one number one. Now let's create another one and let's just offset it by two meters. So like that. OK. And now we need three more planes for the center one and for the end ones. So let's just use this and use 10 meter offset. So it looks kind of like this. So basically these are the reference planes that we're going to be modeling on and these are just to have some idea where the edges are and where the center is. So I'm just going to be modeling in the south elevation. Let's just see this I'm going to name 2. OK, that's done. And let's go into south elevation. And here we have basically the ends of our construction. And this is the middle point. Now I'm going to be using reference planes or reference lines for this. So just go reference line. And for the plane, I'm going to be going by name. And then reference plane, as you can remember, I named the first one 1. So I'm going to choose that one and go OK. So for the first one, we just need to go from end point to midpoint, just make it a bit higher. This will be the top of your construction. And then let's go to the other end point. OK, hit escape. OK, now go reference line again. And for the reference plane, now we're going to be going to plane number two. And let's just uncheck this 3D snapping, use the reference plane number two. And let's just start two meters in and maybe pull it up a bit like so. And then just go horizontal like this. Now select this thing and just mirror it. Just double M the shortcut. And there you go. Now we have our two necessary reference lines. Now go back to level one. We're going to be select the first one or let's go into 3D to see what have we done. OK, that's how it looks like. So now just go back to level one, select the first one along with the reference plane and let's just copy it. Four meters. So just type in four, enter, OK. Now when we go into 3D view, this is what we get. This is what we need to start from. So now let's go into reference line and let's check 3D snapping. And now we're going to go from this point to the middle to the outside point up over here. I don't know why it won't register. Maybe like so. OK. Now go reference line again from this point to this to this to this and to this one. You can probably see what I've done there. And do the same on the other side. So go reference line, this point, this point, this point, upper point, and bring it down. OK, now we have basically the skeleton and we need to make it a plane. So we just need to select these planes or the outer lines and make them into something physical. So let's just go back to create. And now we can select 
the both of them so we're just going to hit tab and then you select this one you come to this one you hit tab you hold the control to add the selection and then you go to the upper one hit tab to select only this one and hit control to add to the selection okay now we have only these three selected and you go to create form you choose this plate form and if you can't really see it you go into maybe realistic and now we can see this plane so now we need to do that for the rest of it I will speed this up so you don't have to watch everything but you just tab select tab hold control to select multiple and then go create form Okay, now this is finished, so we're just going to go finish mass. It has a warning, but that doesn't matter. So here's our mass, and we're back into architecture. So we go back to massing and site, and we go to roof. I'm just going to choose the the thinner roof. These are usually quite thin. It's a very efficient construction. And now we need to select our planes. So let's select all of them. and this one and this one as well okay now go create roof and you can see that didn't create roof on all of these planes so you need to kinda do it again create roof and let's do the inside so one segment is finished now we select it we go back to level let's go level 2 and then copy and then copy it by 2 meters okay it was four meters actually so go back into 3d select everything go back to level 2 copy so now four meters four 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 okay and now go into 3d and as you can see here we have our folded plate structure you can make it as long as you want or you can add some segments in the middle or you can make it wider or taller doesn't really matter. This is basically the principle on how you created these kinds of structures. Let's just go to hidden line, add some shadows, apply. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope it was useful. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for further tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.